Hi everyone! I have gotten a lot of requests from you um, doing a little review on my Celine Nano so I thought I would just do that really quick now. Um, I can just start by saying that I absolutely love that bag and I highly recommend it to anyone looking into getting a smaller bag which can hold a lot because that is the right bag for you. comes in this Celine dust bag and I can't rave enough about this um, like the Celine dust bags they are so well constructed and they're just high quality all the way. So I've just uh, hooked on uh, my little um, shoulder straps just to kind of I don't know get a get a little head on this video um, so the straps are non adjustable they are just long this is a small bag that I can start by saying that but it is for me uh, enough to kind of carry around for everyday use I use this when we travel to Paris and it holds my wallet, my passport, my sunglasses, kind of stuff for traveling. So yeah, you can detach uh, the shoulder straps really easy just by clicking them on or clicking them off. It says Celine on the straps and it says Celine on the front. And my Celine bag has like a ruthenium hardware, so like a, a dark silver hardware, which I really love. When we were in Paris, I literally got so many questions from just people passing me on the street. There was a lady, she was running down the street, she was like, Miss, Miss, uh, where did you get your bag? Oh my god, I love it. I even went to Celine and... Uh, the ladies working there were like gathering around me and was like, oh my god, like, and I'm talking Celine on like Avenue Montaigne, which is huge. And they were like, like we got two of this bag when it when it came out and it was sold out in like ten minutes. And I think this is, I didn't know this, but this leather is. Uh, pretty special. It's a palmolato leather, I learned. I think I'm uh, pronouncing that right. Um, I think that's like a young bull or something. I think so. So the leather on this is very expensive and it is very rare to come by. And when I heard that, I was like, wow. I mean, yeah. And also the color which is in the, the lipstick red. Yeah, so the color is also pretty rare to come by. But anyway, this is, yes, as I say, the red, and it has the zipper here, which you can pull out like that, and you can kind of have more space to kind of go in. So I'm just gonna do that now. And then it's all black inside. And it's lined with goat skin, which makes it very, um, tough inside you have to don't have to be stressed out about like scratching it or something so yeah and it has a small pocket here where it just says oh where it just says Celine it's really hard to kind of show you and um yeah I love it it also has a small pocket here on the front where I guess you can kind of put a coin or something you can even put your headphones in there and this little pocket is also lined with the black goat skin so you also have in the back here the um, the sunglass holder everyone's talking about this is so tight I don't even know if I would put my sunglasses in there it doesn't have any feet on the bottom it's just simple and plain and I absolutely love it. I'm so glad I took the punch and got this bag and I know people are like discussing whether or not this bag is heading out like out of the trend. Uh, I don't think so. Like 
this bag is so versatile. I can't say for like the mini luggage, but this no. Like, no, no, no. Just want to show you also uh, what I can fit in here. I'm just going to show you what I carry here on a daily basis. First of all, I have my Chanel card case, just goes in there. Then I have some very tangled earbuds, goes in there. Then I have my compact powder, uh, my car keys, um, my Ray-Ban sunglass case, which is a fairly big, small, I don't know. My Prada um, six ring key holder in the Safiano leather. My iPhone 6. Let's just for the sake of it say I have this MAC lip liner, which I love now. And my eight hour cream. So I've just randomly put those everything in here. And this works fine. You can see how it looks like inside. It's not full, it's not bulky. Nothing. It's perfect. I'm gonna do some mod shots for you. I am 5'7 or 175 centimeters, so I'm quite tall. I'm not a skinny girl. Um, I have curves. So, um, this was a very like quick video. I just wanted to share that with you. Um, but I highly, highly recommend this bag in any color, uh, leather. And as you can see, I've had this now for... I want to say four months maybe more and I've used it a ton and it doesn't have any marks or like wear or slouchiness whatsoever I highly recommend that bag uh, that was just a quick review and if I missed something if you want to ask me something just do that in the comments below and I will ask them I will put more information in the down bar so you can see and I will talk to you soon bye